Yellowstone's magma movement, Steamboat Geyser's massive eruption, and Kilauea's perpetual eruption. This week, geological researchers from various institutions reported three geothermal phenomena that have captured the scientific world's attention. In the western United States, the Yellowstone geothermal system shows signs of magma movement beneath the surface. In the same region, Steamboat Geyser has erupted again with great intensity, and in the Hawaiian Islands, Kilauea Volcano continues its steady continuous eruptive activity. All three events occurred almost simultaneously, illustrating the dynamics of geothermal energy at work within the planet. In Yellowstone National Park, Researchers from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory detected a mild increase in seismic activity, indicating magma movement in the Earth's crust. Measurements of ground deformation revealed minor changes in surface elevation at several points, which typically occur when hot material from deep within the Earth slowly rises. These events do not signal the threat of a major eruption but rather are part of the natural cycle of the Yellowstone Magmatic System, one of the largest volcanic systems in the world that has been active for millions of years. Along with this increased activity, scientists have also noticed a pattern of periodic micro-tremors around the Yellowstone caldera. These seismic waves indicate the movement of hot fluids beneath the surface likely a mixture of superheated water and volcanic gases trapped in porous rock. Through intensive monitoring using GPS sensors and high-precision geophysical instruments, researchers are working to understand how subsurface pressure changes over time. This data is not only crucial for predicting potential changes in geothermal activity, but also helps estimate the extent to which the magma system interacts with the hydrothermal system that heats the hundreds of hot springs in the region. While observations of subsurface magma movement continue, scientific attention in the same region is focused on another equally intriguing phenomenon, the massive eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser, located in the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park. During this period of mild seismic activity, Steamboat Geyser again erupted, sending a large jet of hot water and steam tens of meters into the air. This phenomenon is a visible manifestation of Yellowstone's active hydrothermal system, which operates above the same volcanic heat source. This steamboat eruption lasted several minutes, with water temperatures estimated to exceed the boiling point at surface pressure. Researchers noted that high underground pressure builds when water trapped in rock fissures absorbs heat from the underlying magma. When the pressure reaches a certain threshold, the water rapidly turns to steam and is forced out through narrow channels, producing the large plumes visible at the surface. This mechanism reflects the delicate balance between heat, pressure, and water availability, three key factors that determine the intensity of geyser eruptions. A team from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, noted that significant eruptions like this are a natural part of the steamboat geothermal cycle, occurring at irregular intervals ranging from a few weeks to several months. There was no indication of a dangerous increase in magmatic activity, and all phenomena were determined to occur within the normal limits of Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. Data on temperature, pressure, and gas levels were collected from the area around the geyser better to understand the relationship between underground activity and surface eruptions. Scientists explain that the relationship between magma movement and geyser eruptions is not direct, but that both originate from the same heat source, thermal activity deep within the Earth. In other words, Steamboat Geyser is a natural window that shows how heat from within the Earth can move through water and gas to the surface without triggering a major volcanic eruption. This presents a crucial opportunity for research into geothermal processes that remain poorly understood. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Ocean, Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano 
one of the world's most active volcanoes, returned to activity on November 9th, ejecting a lava fountain soaring into the air. According to a U.S. Geological Survey USGS report, the eruption lasted nearly five hours, with lava jets reaching heights of 300 to 330 meters. This phenomenon reaffirms Kilauea's character as a volcano, with a dynamic magmatic system that continuously operates in its own internal balance. The eruption occurred in the Halima Uma crater area, located within Kilauea's central caldera. The crater has long been known as a center of stable volcanic activity, where lava pools frequently appear and disappear as gas pressures below the surface change. In the latest eruption, researchers observed a pattern of lava flows that partially filled the crater basin before overflowing to the surface, creating a glowing red display visible into the distance. This activity, while seemingly intense, is part of Kilauea's natural cycle, which has been occurring for many years. Thermal satellite data and infrared imagery collected by the observatory team show significant temperature increases in the summit area, but no signs of new fissures widening around the caldera. This indicates that the eruption is occurring within a controlled, closed system and poses no immediate threat to nearby settlements. Experts believe that much of the energy released in this event originates from a long-active shallow magma chamber beneath Kilauea, which periodically builds pressure and then releases it through effusive eruptions. This phenomenon also provides a valuable opportunity for volcanologists to study the behavior of magma and volcanic gases within a relatively safe system. Each Kilauea eruption provides crucial data on magma composition, sulfur dioxide content, and lava surface cooling rates. This information is fundamental to understanding how the volcano maintains its balance between internal pressure and the release of material into the atmosphere. For the Hawaiian people, Kilauea is more than just a volcano. It is a part of their cultural and natural identity, embedded in their daily lives. Continued volcanic activity is seen as a reminder of the natural forces that shaped the islands millions of years ago. Flowing lava not only transforms the landscape but also creates fertile new soil, increasing land area and enriching the surrounding ecosystem. Globally, the Kilauea eruption along with geothermal activity at Yellowstone and the massive eruption of Steamboat Geyser, serve as vivid examples of how the planet is constantly transforming. All three demonstrate that Earth's internal heat is continuously at work, moving magma, heating deep water, and forming new ocean surfaces. Through continued scientific observation, humans can continue to learn from these activities, not with dismay, but with deep curiosity about the natural processes that maintain the balance of our planet.